and let us all that we can to build a better future. So apparently Fox News thinks that, you know, they're, they're, uh, Fox News has this big brain theory, like, like they realize something. They realize something that's monumental and, and something that we might have overlooked. Everyone, Fox News or Varney thinks that Bernie Sanders is working behind the scenes. He, he's the puppet master. He's the one that's playing around and, you know, using some sort of magic, some sort of dark side magic. Daniel, Bernie Sanders probably said this to Joe Biden. Yo, Joe, have, have you ever heard of the legend of Lenin and Marx? I like, know, Jack. Who is that? <laughs> they were two socialists that led a revolution and did things great. Can you learn this power from a capitalist? No, not from a capitalist. Uh, that's, 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 that's from, that's from uh, what's it? Uh, Revenge of the Sith, Star Wars 3. Okay, okay. But, yeah, that, that, that gets over Effectively, with. what Fox News, before we even get into it, what Fox News is arguing that Bernie Sanders is like, well, I uh, could be president. Could be, I could, could I, be. I could just do this directly. Or, or I could throw the election and then have the same power without having that power. And not being in the administration, too. And not too. being in the administration, yes. Big Fox brain. News, always leading the way. So let's play I this. Think, what do we call that? Four-dimensional checkers? Yeah, no, no, correction. 20th dimensional checkers, man, yeah. right there. So there we go. What is 20th dimensional checkers? I just made it up because that's big brain theory. Let's play this video from Case Study Double TV. king me. Triple king me, man, right there. Four. Five. There we go. 20. That's Infinity cap. plus one. There we go. Let's. <laughs> what, uh, what's the word? Um, <laughs> there's a certain kind of infinity that's the biggest one. Irrational infinity. There we go. There we go. All right. I think I'm right. All Tell right. me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Type in the comment section below. So let's play this. Okay, video. now that we've raised our IQ with big numbers, let's lower it with Fox News. Yeah, so let's go ahead and play this video from Case Study QB. Be sure to follow him on Twitter. He's doing a lot of good work. And also subscribe to his YouTube channel as well. Let's play this video. Sure knows how to play politics. The Democrats knew that if they had Bernie Sanders as their candidate last November, they would have lost. They knew that an acknowledged socialist could not win. So they nudged Bernie out and organized around the moderate Joe Biden, who then won the election playing Mr. Nice Guy. But Bernie never really went away. He made all <laughs> kinds of demands on the new administration and with AOC's support, he got his way. He wrote the Green New Deal, and the Green New Deal is right at the heart of this gigantic pause spending. Yeah, pause pause for a second. Second. Bro, bro, you're the a Green winner. Party wrote the Green New Deal yeah. first. Exactly. First, I love E. Heller's one-dimensional tiddlywinks. I think that this is... Fox News is weird sometimes. Let's just be real. Yeah, like, like This is a weird take. Even, I, even Tucker Carlson will give this guy his Tucker Carlson look like, what are you talking about, dude? <laughs> Bernie Sanders. It's like it's amazing that Fox News is, is like, oh, yes, Bernie and AOC have yeah. done way more yeah, than Bernie the progressives Sanders them think have, they have. Have all the power. And second of all, what power are you talking about? Joe Manchin is the one who got rid of the $50 minimum wage increase. What world are you living in, buddy? Let's play the rest of this video nice guy president will stand up in Pittsburgh and announce a multi-trillion dollar infrastructure plan. He'll smile and talk about the wonderful things the government will do for us all. Behind the scenes, Bernie is gleeful. He Ooh. wrote Biden's script. You see, it's not really about roads and bridges. What? It's about climate and killing fossil fuels. It's about expanding the welfare fossil state dramatically. It's fossils. about smashing corporations and, of course, beating up on the hated rich. The snarling face of socialism is right behind Joe Biden's double mask. You've got to hand it to the left. They transformed a tied Senate and a shrinking majority in the House into the biggest tax and spend plan this country's ever seen. What it's historic. In a about, few hours, bro? the president will push a $2 trillion so-called infrastructure plan, which is nothing of the sort. It is really the transformation of society along socialist lines. At this point, Bernie is winning. Re really? Wow, you're really stretching here, buddy. Not once but twice, Bernie Sanders was denied the nomination because the DNC was basically doing election fraud and rigging the election in favor of two corporatist candidates. 
Hillary Clinton in 2016 and Joe Biden or whoever was whoever they're throwing the wall at for in 2020. Now, Joe Biden was their guy, and that's what they wanted. Remember, it's Obama who made that phone call, especially during the second Super Tuesday. They got Pete Buttigieg Jed, Jed, Jed out as well as Amy Klobuchar as well because the establishment wanted to rally behind somebody that would break Bernie Sanders. And Bernie Sanders, he capitulated. I'm sorry to say, I wish he fought harder, but that's the truth. So this whole idea that somehow Bernie Sanders is behind the scenes, really? Because who has the final say? I think Joe Manchin and Senator Cinema were the ones that killed the $50 minimum wage increase. I think it was the Joe Biden administration that said, oh yeah, that $2,000, it's now $1,400. Oh yeah, we're not getting Medicare for all. We're not getting a Green New Deal. We're not ending regime change wars. We're not really investing into our infrastructure. And yeah, it might be $2 trillion. But Daniel, what's the correct number of trillions of dollars that we need to really update our infrastructure? infrastructure here in america i think to bring up the code is about four trillion and four trillion more if you want to be here can we really quickly just take a still image of that uh that guy Stuart barney who's just talking uh yeah once we get this set up i just want to make yeah. a very quick point but god damn it. Uh, what an okay, idiot. let's pull this up okay so we're getting this ready i just want to make this very salient very objective very important point that uh we need to do yeah, it's gonna just a full shot of him there we go let's there do that go. ready I flip that over He's so afraid. I don't want anyone to take advice from a guy who eats too many carrots. Yeah. Look, uh, another thing, too. He's like, I, Trump was orange. But, I can be orange. But but what? what, what you, I mean, what? where's your proof? First of all, you're part of a major news network. You're saying that Bernie Sanders is behind the scenes making these decisions. Where's your evidence? You're just giving your opinion. Biden is as corporatist as they can get, buddy. He's your friend, whether you like it or not. I love also that he's like, Bernie Sanders, not a friendly face, not a friendly person. Joe Biden, good guy. Yeah, and, and again, and again, look, here is a sad fact about Fox News. You're not doing your research. Remember, it's a DNC establishment and corporate media that kept on trying to smear progressives and Bernie Sanders in 2016 and in 2020. To say that he is now behind the scenes being this great shadow cis lord, where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Do you have anything to show for it? You're a major news network. If you're going to be making some breaking news, then go ahead and show me proof that Bernie Sanders is right behind Joe Biden making all this legislation because I haven't seen it. So in other words, what you did was just basically pull something out of your butt and lie to your audience. You just gave an opinion, not a fact. You gave a feeling, but no information. You're part of a major news network, and you just did that. Now, as now Fox News has a lot of opinion shows, and to be fair, that's what they have. CNN does that too, MSNBC. We have our own opinion too. But if you're going to be making a statement about a presidential administration, be it Republican, Democrat, or Independent, you got to have proof to say that this said president, this said individual, is uh, being manipulated by somebody behind. But I doubt it's Bernie Sanders. Unless you have evidence, you better share it. Otherwise, retract that statement and said, this is an opinion that I have. I have no this proof for it. Because if you said it like yeah. that, if you said it like that, then okay, maybe we wouldn't be snapping at you. But Fox News, you're, you know, really, Varney, Varney, cal calm down. Biden is as corporatist as it can get, buddy. I get that Fox News writes your paycheck, but, you know, to say, calling Biden a socialist or a communist, I mean, you're really stretching it. Same thing with all those times Fox News said Obama was a socialist or a communist. Re really? Where's your proof? We went from two wars to seven. Fox News should be foaming at the mouth. Like, oh, yeah, we want more war. Yeah, this is the other thing. It's like to, to use everyone's quotes together. He is playing one-dimensional tiddlywinks, acting like Bernie is playing 20-dimensional chess or 20-dimensional checkers when not, no one really has any idea what they're doing and everyone's just doing what the donors want anyway. Yeah. And Bernie Sanders didn't fight and gave up, yet he's clever enough to be a puppet master controlling anyone without being able to win the election.